morning Bitcoins. Today is Monday, December 30th, 2013 at 528 AM in Bora Bora. Mad Bitcoins, pure as sunlight. The Mad Bitcoin subscriber index is at 1683 and climbing. Here are today's Mad Bits. Over the break, Bitcoin prices fought their way back into the 800s, but now are down a bit, with Coindesk BPI reporting a last of 754, a high of 759, and a low of 743. Litecoin prices have been ranging upwards as well, with a high of $25 a coin, and a last of 2358. This episode of Mad Bitcoins has been sponsored by viewers like you. Special thanks to donors LTC 2.75, BTC 0 0.02, 0 0.0007, 0 0.000386, and 0 0.1559999. Mad Bitcoins thanks you for your generous support. Check out Crypto Kings on YouTube, the new podcast from Johnny Bravo, longtime fan and supporter of Mad Bitcoins. Episode 1 is about trouble in Big China, the BTC-E troll box, and features an exclusive interview with Satoshi Nakamoto. Check it out on YouTube or in the link below. Get to know Bitcoin with a Bitcoin hat from gettoknowbitcoin.com. He's got black hats, white hats, and hats with a logo on the side so you can support Bitcoin with a more street look. Check him out at gettoknowbitcoin.com. Greeley, Colorado gas station is still the first gas station in America to accept Bitcoins. I covered this story during my live Christmas special, but it's three hours long, so you might not have seen it. So let me say it again. A gas station in Greeley, Colorado is the first gas station in America to accept Bitcoins. Gas stations are potentially Bitcoin's greatest ally against the credit cards as there are no returns at gas stations, so they will love Bitcoin's no chargeback policy. Also, they can pay less in fees and get their money right away with Bitcoin. Gas stations will love Bitcoin. Gas stations will love Bitcoin. Gas stations will love Bitcoin. And we've got one accepting it right now. Check out The Cosmic Market at thecosmicmarket.com. Or if you're in the Greeley, Colorado area, stop by for a snow cone. It's only freezing cold there, so it should be the perfect weather for a snow cone. Bitcoin poker wins online after U.S. shuts down cash sites. Just like the Silk Road, the federal government tried to shut down online poker sites, an action that only led to the creation of more poker sites that now accept Bitcoin and will be harder to shut down. The internet continues to host a never-ending game of whack-a-mole that the Bureau plays with itself, but never seems to win. Bitcoin, a modern-day three-card Monty? Today's new FUD is from the New York Post. The Post, itself a joke of a tabloid newspaper, of course starts off the article with a comparison to a rigged card game, and then goes on to expose how little they know about Bitcoin, comparing the mathematical brilliance of the blockchain to a droll game of Sudoku. They then spend a little time covering Bitcoin's mysterious creator, but no time is spent talking about the cabal that met secretly in 1910 on Jekyll Island. Senators, representatives from the Treasury Department, and the greatest financiers of the day planned the central banking system now known as the Federal Reserve without a single public meeting or even telling the public what they were doing. They passed the law on the day before Christmas Eve in 1913 when most of Congress had already gone home for the holidays. Not the least bit suspicious, certainly not worth the time of the New York Post. The New York Times, however, Krugman, Bitcoin is evil. It's sad, really. I used to enjoy Krugman's work. Sure, he's an economist, so that means that he's wrong half the time, and if you had a dollar, you could hire a dozen of them to say the opposite. But he was okay. He was one of the economists who got it. Not so much anymore. Krugman comes out guns blazing with the classic Bitcoin has no value argument, an argument that only can be described as quaint from a country that went off the gold standard in 1971 and whose last audit of all the gold in Fort Knox was in 1953 under the presidency of the late great Dwight D. Eisenhower, one of the last presidents of the United States, who warned us in 1961 that this conjunction of an immense military establishment and a large arms industry is new in the American experience. 
The total influence, economic, political, even spiritual, is felt in every city, every state house, every office of the federal government. We recognize the imperative need for this development, yet we must not fail to comprehend its grave implications. Our toil, resources, and livelihood are all involved. So is the very structure of our society. And so, to Paul Krugman and also to sci-fi writer Charlie Strauss, who I also used to respect, I issue you the Bitcoin Challenge. Number one. Sign up for a Coinbase or any other Bitcoin service and buy $10 worth of Bitcoin. Number two, send $1 to a friend via email or with their wallet address. Number three, send a dollar to a charity like Sean's Outpost, which helps the homeless people in Florida. Number four, send a dollar to a friend overseas. Number five, then get out a pen, envelopes, and stamps and do the same thing with cash. This challenge also goes for the members of the Senate Committee on Banking and the Homeland Security Committees who have recently held hearings on Bitcoin. Try using it before you try regulating it. Try using it before you try writing about it. You don't have to imagine what Bitcoin is and write about your imaginings. Bitcoin is real. It's the payment network of the future, right here in front of your eyes, and it works. Maybe you don't understand how it works. Maybe you don't understand the brilliance of Satoshi and the difficulty of the Byzantium General's problem. That doesn't change the fact that it works. Bitcoin is better than cash. MP3s are better than CDs. Email is better than mail. Resistance is futile. Join up or get out of the way because Bitcoin is the honey badger of money and it's here to stay. You can write all the FUD articles you want and when this is done, you'll be eating your words. This is a technological revolution and it doesn't matter if you're too old to understand it. Bitcoin works. Cash is inferior. Now get out of the way. Until next time, this has been Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins? Mad Bitcoins.